Today I'm going to show you how you can create an interactive Google Slides activity using PowerPoint with a little help from Flatpak. As a student, you'd get one of these Google Slides activities and the instructions at the top and you can just follow the instructions, add a bit of create your own creativity in it, you can even rotate these shapes. Oh, and it says three animals, so I'm going to drag this one back again. And on the next slide, I need to write something. What do I like best about summer? I like swimming and going to the beach. As a student then, you would save it and submit it back maybe as an assignment to the classroom or however the teacher wants to do it. Let's see how we can create this thing. The first thing I want you to notice is that as a student, I cannot edit these words, nor can I drag this background. I can drag these shapes and images, but I cannot drag the background, cannot make any changes here. On the next slide, I cannot change the instruction. The only thing I can do is add text here. But back in PowerPoint where this whole activity was designed, you can see that this is simply a shape with some text in it. These are all images stacked on top of each other. They're all PNGs with transparent backgrounds. This is also a shape which has a bit of a transparent background. On the next slide, pretty much the same. Shape at the top with a background. This is a big text box and the format of it it's got a bit of a fill with a lot of transparency so you can see it's a text box you need to fill in if we go to google slides now and we create a google slides activity from that presentation let's do file import slides and we're going to go to upload and we're just going to select the um, presentation we were just editing. Now that it's finished uploading, we can select the slides we want to import, both of them. I'm going to say keep original theme, which means all the colors of the original presentation are kept. I'm going to import these two slides. And those two slides are added into my Google Slides presentation. This first one we can always delete. Now you think we, we're done, we're not quite done yet. There's a couple of issues. One of them is that you can still edit these things. Uh, you can still drag the background around. And the student on the next page can still edit these instructions. What we want to do instead is send all of these things to the background of the slide, set them as an image to the back of the slide. There's a number of ways we can do this, but with Flatpak this becomes a bit easier. So let's go back into PowerPoint to make these adjustments. So, so all the shapes and text you want to still remain editable, you will be select and in Flatpak, you just say, do not flatten. Same for the next page, the text box here. You say, do not flatten. Let's see what happens. So we don't need to create a PDF, we create a PowerPoint. And save this. Now it's created a flattened PowerPoint for us. It's set all the things that aren't meant to be draggable to the back of the slide. I cannot drag this, but I can still edit this part and I can still drag these shapes. So everything's set up to the background. The way you can tell Flatpak to do this is if you go to Flatpak and you go to Preferences, 
Make sure the flattened image settings is inset as background on each slide. That means when you create a PowerPoint, everything that's flattened will be sent to the back of the slide as a background. Now we can go back into Google Slides and import them again by going to File, Import Slides, upload the file, select both slides to be imported, keep original theme, delete the first slide and we're set. None of these things can be edited anymore, but these shapes can be dragged around. Now importantly, when you do this, for any shapes or images or clip art you keep, make sure that the terms of use of that clip art allows you to have it not flattened. On the next page, you can edit it now, but nothing else can be edited. And that's how easy it is to create an interactive Google Slides presentation. Can't wait to see what you create. Have fun.